This is a neglected Yamaha Thunder Race and it was given to me for free. You see, it's a bike that's been in the family since new. However, it's been off the road for a very, very long time. And I'm about to bring this old beast back to life. Now I'm pretty new to, let's say, getting my hands oily. This is actually my second project bike for the channel and I haven't even completed the first one yet. However, I'm enjoying the process so much that I can't wait to get stuck into this neglected Thunder Race. And thanks to so many of your comments on my last upload, you have motivated me to do the right thing. Due to this great big dent in the frame, the best thing to do is to completely strip this Thunder Race down. I wanted to avoid going to the extent of removing the engine, but you know, I learn a lot in the process, plus it makes great content and it's rather amusing because I'm going to be doing it all from my driveway. Yes, I'm going to completely strip this Thunder Race down and rebuild it here. Wish me luck. I removed the airbox, but interestingly, when you pull the throttle, the whatever these are, they don't open. So yeah, I wonder what these do. So we've got a slight issue in that basically that radiator is almost off however this screw here is very very damaged so i'm tempted now just to maybe snip this wire and then just rejoin it when i go to put it all back together again it has to be said that the radiator is in very very good condition considering its mileage and age. All right, quite disappointing that we got almost all of those stud nuts off, apart from one. This snapped, unfortunately. We'll have to try and figure out how to get around that once the engine's out. I guess maybe I could just drill that out, put some heat to it, but we'll figure that out in due course.
Jeez, that's far too tight. That is far too tight. I'll be going back on that tight. That needs to be torqued up correctly. Another hurdle, and that is the throttle cable. So I've disengaged part of it. However, there's still this attached and it loops all the way down underneath there somewhere. And I really can't get, get to it and unhook it. So I'm thinking now these cables run all the way around back through here to the throttle. So I'm thinking how, hmm, maybe I can just disengage all of this, unhook it somewhere here and then just leave it attached for the time being. Okay, so just realized basically this is not really going to squeeze down through that tiny gap at the bottom there. So I think I'm gonna have to get back to trying to disengage. See this cable here, this one here. Need that one off somehow. I've managed to do it, but I'm telling you now, I'm trying to get that back on is gonna be one hell of a challenge because it loops all the way back around the back here. I don't know how I'm gonna get around that in the future. Okay, this is where we are at then. I believe we are pretty much ready to drop this engine. I've been through all of this here and made sure that we are disconnected everywhere we possibly need to be. Of course, the exhaust system is completely removed too, as well as the radiator. So how about we go ahead and drop this engine? And so to drop the engine out, I can see these two Allen key bolts. There's this bolt here. There's another one that you can get access to through the frame. And then the same, the opposite side for those two. And I reckon we'll be good. Right, potential problem because through that hole there, if you can see it in the frame, is access to one of the engine mounts for this Allen key bolt. Now this great big ratchet is what I've been using to undo these tough bolts. Of course, that's not gonna really go through the frame, is it, with the 10 mil socket on it? Okay, that's too big, won't go through. However, I've got the smaller ratchet extension, the smaller 10 mil, that will hook up to this Allen key bolt. Is this going to handle the pressure? Hopefully it's going to work. Not ideal, but we've got to give it a go. I pray for you. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. What am I going to do? All right. So I'm going to have to drive to Halfords to try and get myself some more tools because yeah got to figure it out when I get to Halfords know what I need hopefully they've got what I need so I've been and got myself well I've basically leveled up my tools ever so slightly because I've got this ratchet which I haven't been using with this extension bar and so I've got myself a 10 mil socket and hopefully this will all hook up and that will go through the frame. And also I've got this six mil, which is slightly, well, I guess it's gonna be that bit tougher because this will also go onto this ratchet.
Oh. Finally, after some hocus pocus, we have one engine mount finally out. Very, very stubborn. This has taken me the best part of an hour and a half to figure out one, how to undo those very, very tight bolts. Secondly, figuring out how to actually remove this from the engine. One engine bolt to go and hopefully the engine should drop out of the frame. I think all bolts are out, engine mounts are all out. The jack is holding the weight. Also, I've got my girlfriend again here for added help. She's a muscle around here. Does it remind me, sir? So I go down very slightly with that. What, do I need to pull it? No, undo that little nipple, that bar, but you turn it ever so slightly so it comes down slowly. Yeah. That's it. Again? There's that, no, don't. No. Do you see where it's catching? There we go. It's out. It's out, mate. It's coming down slowly. That's it. All right. I'm just gonna do that up slightly. Just double check that it's not. I need to go. What? Twist it forward. Here. Right, now if you can push from your side and I'll pull. I can push. Uh, is, there any, is there any way the bike... Hang on this. Yeah, it's this pipe. It just needs to come. One minute, one minute. There you go. There's no... See? It's all clear. Okay, so... So it. just let it topple forward slightly. Yeah. Because then we can pull it out. Clear the... Did it come to me? Yeah. Right. I think this is this part of stuff No, it's not. Watch no. your fingers, no. What's catching? Oh, it's the wires. Okay, slight issue in that the choke, well, we have the choke on this bike, and that cable is still attached. Kill me. <laughs> Just kill me. <laughs> and I can't get it unhooked. Is it in the wrong place for you to undo it? Yeah, so see this. Well, why don't you come this side? Well, I don't, know how it, I don't know how it comes out of that little recess. I'm going to see if I can unhook it. On the mains? From here, yeah, from the handlebar. I think we've done. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have the Thunder Race engine <laughs> removed. That was easy. So easy, like, honestly. Can you believe it? The engine has finally been removed from this very neglected Yamaha Thunder Race. So that's stage one complete. Stage two is yet to come. So how about you subscribe and stay tuned for further content. With that said, I'm gonna end this one here. Thanks for watching. See you later.